What's up guys? I told you that I was taking a quick trip out to California to hang out with the boys. Today, I'm hanging out with TJ. Wasn't really planning on doing much car stuff. We had a little bit of time to kill, so we're gonna do a little bit of car stuff. We're just some chachas out here pushing pee. Dude, Ain't that right? Adam, he came in, he's like, yo, you're trying to push some pee this weekend? I'm down to push some pee. We're down to push some pee. So we're just chaching it up today. Yo, pushing some pee. Maybe. Adam really wants to drive a real car today. So I said, okay, if you want, we could take out the FD. I thought maybe we'll take her for a little ripper you know? <laughs> Adam will come here and he'll try to use my words <laughs> and use them in like in just the wrong fashion every time, but I appreciate the effort. To be fair, I asked Sabrina, I'm like, yo, give me some some key phrases. It's like we gotta talk about the haunt army, ripperoony, chach, okay. push and pee. <laughs> Rip it's ripperino. Oh <laughs> ripperino, not ripperoony. Alright. Alright. So this car, TJ's RX7, I've seen it before. I've never driven it. I've never ridden in it. This is one of my favorite builds that TJ's done. This car is very, very tasteful. The paint looks phenomenal. I love the mag blue on white. Partially what inspired my Supra when I had it. That was such a good setup. I miss it. Dude, when we, I remember when you were building it, I was like, dude, if we had them together, they'd be matching, it'd have been so good. So I want to do a little quick walk around on this car for people that might not know it. Oh, did you change the seats? Didn't you step Sparkos on this thing? Uh, no, I, so I had OEM seats and then I just like got the seats and we like re did reupholstery on it, tried to make it a little better, but I just hate the stock FD seats. I thought, you had, I thought you tried to fit like Sparko seats and they didn't fit or something. We did, yes. Okay, got it. Or no, that was for the Mark IV and then that's the Sim seat now. Got it. But ultimately, yes, but people who have FDs and you know, like mm -hmm. you have the FD, like nothing fits in this car. Like even these low maxes, like literally, I could I can't even fit a piece of paper when you close the door. So it's really hard to get seats to like that touch the door. Yeah. So it's really hard to get seats to fit in this. So like nothing really fits. So like the limitation of what you could do was kind of like just this. And like you didn't have money for Spirit R seats. Yeah, and I couldn't afford those like totally. <laughs> so I just I went, I went with the cheap low. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, dude, I get it, I get it. You yeah, gotta, yeah. you gotta. I'm out here on a budget. The car's sick though. So. I'm excited to build my FD and do, like, I, if you guys haven't seen the videos, originally I was going to put the 4-rotor in it, it would have ruined the balance of the car and it just would have made it undrivable. So, I am thinking my setup will probably be something like Tommy's, maybe like TJ's. What, how much power does this make? Can we pop the hood uh, and look at engine? One, it makes like low 400. That's on pretty good. E85, it makes low 6. What's it on right now? 91. Can we go find some E85? <laughs> the reason why I don't run on an E85 is because this is my fourth transmission I've been through. Uh, Anything like above like high 400s, like fifth gear, if you aggressively, if you like chuck it in fifth gear a little too fast, you just blow it. Really? So like, I just accepted Did you just that, say chuck it in fifth gear? Yeah, if you just chuck it too fast, like you just- In fifth gear. There's a, there's five. Where, where do you have the, the speed pulls. limit to do that? We did it on video. We were doing a freeway pull. We went third to fourth to fifth and- uh, That's over the speed limit, sir. It was, uh, it was when, uh, <laughs> Whatever. <But> anyways, <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, ported PPRE, um, just straight beauty. 4088 Garrett. Um, I was gonna say that's an old school boy. The G40 is yeah. coming out soon. Yeah, but I mean it's it's still pretty responsive. But like it's such a it's it, it, you'll see. Okay. You have to really be up to get the boost, but it's beautiful because there's such long gears, and you can really like stay high up between like third and second and from like anywhere from like 40 to 80 miles mm -hmm. per hour and it works really well. Sick. It's kind of laggy because it's really big, but like the payoff is huge once you're at like the top of the RPM. So the only thing I've really driven was Tommy's car when I had upgraded twins before it went single. So this will be my first single turbo RX-7, at least that I can remember. I feel like every time I say that someone finds a video where I prove myself wrong, but I'm really excited to build my FD hopefully at some point later this year. So this is gonna get me even more excited. Yeah, the last time this was here, or not here, because it was, it, I took it to your open house like two years ago. Yeah. But at the time, I remember that it was on bags, which is not anymore, but when it was on bags, it was- Oh, and you showed up and it, it was broken? But it, it broke because it got so cold when it was being trailered to Florida mm -hmm. that through like one of the snowy states, the bags like lost pressure. And then the, the oil cooler AN fitting like aired out on top of like the latch and it like that's what cracked the fitting and that's why I was leaking oil anyways it wasn't really working that trip can I can I tell them the new revelation that I heard today that makes you way more push and pee than you were before what TJ is no longer a bad guy oh. this came out today he told me he's <laughs> like he's like I, okay. I'm done using bags I'm over it no more bags your CA doesn't have bags even when he goes to the grocery store he's using boxes now no more yeah, bags. yeah I don't use I bring I bring like my shoe boxes and I just put my groceries in there yeah like bags aren't for me anymore yeah 
but it works. The only thing that I wish I could tune out, which I was actually talking to Vargas about this at the open house, your mm -hmm. last one. Great dude. Um, the primary to secondary injectors, you'll feel like the 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 hop, like the. Tell me the same problem with his car too. Yeah, it, it happens a lot. It's not a bad thing. It's one of those things where you drive it and you're like, what was that hiccup? It, it, I don't just know. tell yourself it's VTEC. Yeah, dude, that that's what Tommy said. All right, anything else cool that I should note on this thing? Uh, like I said, the brakes lock up. Okay. So like, not I'm in a good you, way. If like, we will die in this video if you <laughs> just like break too hard. Like we'll die. Okay. It's, it's happened a couple times. You died in your videos a couple times. Almost. All and right. it's very scary. Okay. Like it's uncomfortable. All right. Um, but dude, just no fifth gear pulls for me. Don't go to fifth. <laughs> like don't even. We don't even. You can when you go to fifth, you have to like. Clutch all the way in, just slowly. I have no desire to go that fast in this I car. I really, I don't believe that. I'm a like third gear Mr. pull kind of guy. Dragon. I'm like a second, third gear pull kind of guy. Even still, a 90 shit box going that fast, it is scary. Yeah. They're all uncomfortable. But it's great, you'll love it. Big old chach. Hasn't, it hasn't broke yet, so if you break don't say this that. video, I mean. God, you set me up for failure. I'm just saying, it hasn't, well but if it decides to, it's because it was you. This is this is the test of how good your window seals are on the FD. Will the door shut? Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't even the window seal, bro. <laughs> hey, you have, to, you have to close it with intention. Every FD is like that. Yes, but I, you know, actually, I your open, there's so many stories about your open house. When I was at your open house and it was there, Dustin's gorilla arms, snapped off the plastic handles, <laughs> so I have metal ones now, the pull handles, so the door's, and then Sabrina broke this, so this is... The interior is not the highlight of this car, okay? That's all I'll say. Are we it still works. going to get Sabrina a new car today? Is that part of the plan, or is it too late for that now? I want to go visit Hunter. Nothing's impossible. I want to go see Hunter at uh, West... Why? Because He's so nice. He almost got a Coletta car. You almost bought a few cars from him. Did I? I don't yeah, think so. You I think Colette did. I've put you in contact with him about certain cars, I thought. I no, swear. it was the GT4 when Colette wanted it. No, but other... There was other cars, I swear. Hmm. Yeah, because remember, you almost sold the RS. And probably, you don't remember this. Or I don't think you told. Before you traded it for the GT3, I almost sold there that. was a point where you considered selling the RS. Really? I, th I thought. I don't remember that. There was a certain car that... Oh, my RS6 Avant, maybe. That was it. Yeah. CRS. It was yeah. Even, Great it was, guy. It was Hunter, stored. West Coast Exotic. Shout out to you. It was stored in my brain. I was like... <laughs> that's me trying to... Oh, know. this is the kid. That, that's you That's you trying to get that, that discount from West Coast. Yeah, maybe. Like, maybe yeah, great guy. No, no, I, heard he's, I heard he's got... Oh, I didn't shut it. I heard he's got a... What's what's the new car that we want today? The the Lamborghini? The yellow one? Uh, the Urus? Oh, that was Urukon. Oh yeah, we don't want that. No, Claude wants it. You want that? I maybe I want a it's little. It's a bit. it's a very. No, you think this is you don't? I don't think you'll ever own. Do you even fit in this car? Not really. <laughs> I was gonna say, you probably will struggle. No, I think I'll be alright. I'll, um, I'll make it work. Hmm. What else? Is it? What's gonna? What? What can you possibly break in this? That shifter's kind of tall. Like compensating. Okay. One. I love the stories little, with maybe this car. A, <laughs> okay. No wonder you keep breaking fifth gear. Oh my, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll it. explain this. I'll explain this. One, this is a cool shifter. That, that is a short throw. Because you don't ever drive your FD, so you don't know. Stock FD shifters suck, bro. Mine like, feels great. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Uh, no, it's just not true. It's got 30,000 kilometers on it. Is it have, does it have, a, ass, does it have a short shifter in it? No, it's stock shifter and it feels great. I know that's not true. It's stock shifter. I will call Tommy right now and I'll be like, hey, Tommy, what's your opinion on the stock shifter on FT? He'll be like, oh, it's shit. Do you think that, do you think Tommy will like this shifter more than a stock shifter? Tommy's a shithead. I don't hey, care. Hey, hold, hold, hold on. Let's finish the conversation. I don't, do you think, think, I don't if, care if about I call, Tommy. If I call Tommy right now, I will put $1,000 on you it and he will do? say I'm, the stock shifter just, shits on I'm this. Just gonna, I'm just going to write Ari on the me on the side and he'll be like, oh, it's Ari. It's so good, dude. It's JDM. It's classic. Then he'll like it. Or I'll just be like, oh, it's actually Nismo did a one off thing for Mazda. And it's actually Nismo. I and then they love it. I appreciate you trying to change the topic right now. I don't. <laughs> I don't think Tommy would approve. Listen, listen. The stock shifter. People who have FDs should know this. They're just super long throws, and they're just they're horrible. I hate them. So you know, this you, is you a know lot what that better. does? It lets you feel the gear and take your time, so you don't break Dude, your it transmission. Just makes them so slow. But this is nice. See, when you actually drive it, and it's just like. You're like, oh, it's nice. You'll like it. It's a little obnoxious. I wish it wasn't this long penis looking thing. Uh, I've never seen a penis that looks like this. Well, you're looking at the wrong ones, dog. <laughs> this, it's, I don't like the height, but it feels great. You can't, you can't tell me. I'll, be the, I'll be the judge of that. Dude, okay, get this on camera. Neutral, this, this is a throw. You ready? 
That was it. That's not a good thing. That was it. That's not a good thing. Your Porsche feels the same way. No, it doesn't. No, it's got a nice throw. You're like, oh, it's so notchy. I love it. The GT3 I just got. You know what? It's notchy, but like I can actually tell where the gear is because it's like me, me, like you know, like a normal. Okay, you can first. You can blindfold me right now and throw it in a gear, and I'll tell you what gear it's in. You want me to blindfold drive this car? Okay, no. I'm saying if I was blindfolded and you threw it in a position. So close your eyes, turn away. I'm gonna put it in a gear and. I'm gonna shit on you if I get it right. All right, just touch it and tell me what gear it's in without moving it. Fifth. You looked at it. You I said blindfolded. To, I swear to God. Fifth. That's fifth. All right, close your eyes. Do it again. All right, right now. Um, I would I would probably say it's fourth. Second. Just blew your trends. It's over your engine. Oh, <laughs> okay, this this is the difference. This is the difference. Second. Yep. This is the middle. Okay. This is fourth. That's not a good thing. Do you see? This? But when you're driving, you're just drive it. Okay. I'm excited. Sorry, guys. This is the longest intro to a video ever. <laughs> but uh, is, that, is this Nas? Um, what? Uh, that's actually for uh. Two step. Don't say two step. It's for my two step. God damn it. <laughs> Two step, every, uh, if it doesn't have two step, I don't want it. We said we were not going to do any car things today, but I really want to drive the Supra, but... We can drive it. I'll break it out. I'll, I'll follow you in it. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It does, but it's stuck in two step. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had a button on your steering wheel and that wouldn't happen. I need to get a Johan out here. I, re I want, Hold on, I got to film how this sounds. This sounds really cool. You got to let it warm up first. Because right, it's, it's not... You got to wait until it gets warm. Got a, got a sick fuel pump in this thing. She's loud as f Yeah. Ugh. This thing sounds sick. What are you doing? I was I was making it sound good. <laughs> it sounds so good. DJ. Uh, Tell me that sounds like the best roadie you ever heard. No, this thing does sound really good. Almost sounds as good as my SR. Almost sounds as good as your SR, now that we got the same manifold and turbo set up. I'm very much looking forward to that. Shout out to me. I gave TJ lines off my own car. You did. You did. Was it off your own car? No, that wasn't off my car, but we made them for you. I took one. Shout out to Sean. I think Sean made those lines for you, actually. You did were talking he? all this shit. Sean doesn't like TJ's pants. It's a it's a thing. Yeah, Sean, if you're watching this, I'm gonna see you in four days and I'm gonna wear my pants for you. It's a normal thing. These are not, not normal. I have a pair of your, my TJ Hunt pants. You can I buy them now at huntandcompany.com. Are they in stock? No, they're sold out. I was gonna say. They've, they've been sold out for a long time. God. Adam good. has a pair though that I'm sure he'll sell for you guys. <laughs> they're, they're, if there's enough demand in the comments, <laughs> If there's people in the membership program that want some Hunt Company jogger pants, Adam has a pair that he can list for sale. Yep, yep members only. Members only, dude, sorry. Um, so it's not really a secret, but everyone's coming down to Florida to come drive Z's. Did I just blow that secret? No, it's not a secret, everyone knows. They're like, they think that there's a lot more. Wow, I just realized this is tan. Wow, how are you gonna out me like that's my biggest insecurity. Really? I can't find them. So we're gonna go to the auto parts store, we're gonna buy some some Dude, black interior. Sabrina bank. Tried. Really? It's like a whole thing on my channel. Okay. You to find black buckles, it's like not gonna happen. Alright, going back to the Z thing. Everyone's coming down to Florida to do Z things, and uh, can I say that you're coming? No, I'm not gonna be there. TJ's coming. He's not bringing his car, he's gonna drive the drift HQ car, but we're gonna be hanging out a bit. But yeah, I just wanna come hang out in California and do some things. I'm gonna be there for like four days. Stoked. I'm a gator man. Gator boy. Move it in. <laughs> clutch feels great. Big clutch guy. Clutch will make or break your car. Then we've got a nice little, nice little response. All right. She's good. I, I have no, I have zero complaints with this car. Love that. It is like, it's so much fun. It's the most fun car to drive. Before Adam tries to talk crap, I know that he secretly loves it. Go for it. This, this shifter, dude. <laughs> dude, it's such a... It feels like someone took my ISR short shifter out of my 240 and shortened it by like 3,000%. Uh, I was gonna say, you should go left here. It's kind of a blind. Actually, you should be able to see. Alright, so right off the rip, initial impression, other than having to pull this thing 5 million... <laughs> it's a little heavy. For a 4088, 
this thing like spools so quick. Does it? I, from what I expected. Yeah. Like it's at 3,000 RPM for it to build that much boost. I thought it'd be laggy as hell. Yeah, it's not that bad. You could go straight all the way through here. Downshifting is a little weird. I just said, dude, you, you just, you have to shift with like, oh, like force. you mean it. You gotta yeah. shift like you mean it. Yeah. It does get annoying if you're in traffic and you go to neutral first, neutral first, it can be a little bit, you really have to shove it. I like that it reminds me of my like 90s jet ski with all like the smoke trail behind you. <laughs> Sweet, comparing my $100,000 FD to a $2,000 jet ski. You didn't ski. pay $100,000 for this, you got it from the junkyard, didn't you? That is true. We have a good memory. TJ, it is, TJ, it is, it, it, dude, it, I, I have, I have about a hundred grand in this car. Let me tell you something. TJ loves to flex of like what his cars could sell for, like hanging out. He's like, yeah, you know, this is a six hundred thousand dollar car. I go, TJ, how much money do you have in you? One hundred fifty thousand. Doesn't mean it ain't worth that, baby. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, Adam. Boys, boys Adam's got taking notes. Good market value on some of his vehicles. And he's not afraid to sell them. So if you want to buy this car, he'll this probably sell it. I got offered 140 something for this car. 150, 140. Yeah. I said no. Did you make a video about it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I did. So can I get on it? Yeah. God, it sounds so cool. Yeah. But you, you, you felt the hiccup? Yeah, I see what you mean. It almost felt like a breakup. It feels like it's breaking up, but it's just the injectors. Got it. Now, what do you rev it to? Yeah, I mean, I, All right. I drive, just drive it. I can't get over the mid-range. That makes me really is? excited. No, the mid-range. Oh, like, the... like a 4,000 RPM, like, it's just very boosty buildy. You know, like, yeah. ripperoony, chach. Not ripperoony. Like a push and me. Dude, push and major P. Yeah, that scares me. What? Just the, the changeover? Yeah. My, like, my normal brain is telling me something's wrong. Yeah. Obviously, it's not. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's weird to get used to. Is this very legal in California, this car? It's very legal. I've actually never gotten in trouble in this car. <laughs> I couldn't get into third. I yeah. went into fifth. But you felt, you felt rather than it, right? Yeah. What? For a second. And something fell in my lap. <laughs> That's my, yeah. It falls out. When, it falls out when you give it the beans. I love how drivable it is, this car is. It's great. It's not like a big choppy, like cam feeling car where like, like, like it's very just smooth. I need some ethanol though, dog. Can we just put a little bit in? So I, another reason bit. why I don't run it is I don't have the premix for it. Got it. But you need a whole separate uh, type of oil for it. I can't believe that this is a 4088. Not very really? I've never one. driven a 4088 over there. Such cool noises. Yeah, and you'll get the big backfire every now and then. That dude drives a Tesla. <laughs> was he looking at you weird? Yeah, he was looking at me with disdain. Yeah. Sing, sick. I just love how good it sounds. Yeah, it's like very comfortable too. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited to build my FD. It's going on you a little bit. Dude, the stock shifter sucks. I like it. I, I had enjoy my stock short shifter. shifter and I hated it. I enjoy my short shifter. That's a damn lie. I enjoy my I enjoy my stock shifter. I'm gonna we're gonna FaceTime Tommy. Yes. We'll make it back to my house. Okay, we'll FaceTime Tommy and, and we'll see what me. Tommy says. He will say this is Tommy will hate that. Tommy will hate that. But I'm looking for the answer that the stock shifter sucks. Been in the passenger seat of this car feel, before. Feels really good. Yeah. Feels really smooth. I wish I could just pull it into gear, you know. It pulls fine. This is why you break trans. No, I've it's never it's broken it with this trans. Or with this <laughs> shifter. I've never broken it with a shifter. This is what saves me. Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't let you shift. Okay. Why don't you just title this TJ's RF RX7 shifter sucks? If I can pick apart one thing in this car and like be a dickhead about, like shifter is like the one thing that like doesn't really mean anything. You know, usually I'd be talking about your fitment or your bags or, but we're not. We're talking it's, about a shifter. It's so good. It's a little bit of a boat, a little bit. It's okay. It's comfy. It's comfy. It could be tighter. Yeah. You have me so 
so nervous about the brakes. I mean, if you really wanted, you could get on the front a little bit and you could figure it out. I just would rather really warn you about it. Oh, yeah, wow. Yep. You're not wrong. It literally just locked up. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's kind of terrible. So, like, if you go into a, a turn and you're not really ready for it, it's very sketchy. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Yeah, they need to have a distributor on it or something. They need to break it up. Ooh, the brakes are st <laughs> scary. I love the noises, dude. And the mid range is so good. If I could change two things about this car, TJ, it'd be the shifter. Other than that, you did a good job, kid. Oh, and the, the shifters. And the seatbelt. Wow, call me out, dude. If you, anyone selling black FD buckles, you got a buyer. I've been looking for a long time. Well, hopefully we can find some for Jimmy you. said it, dude, like, Jimmy texted me. He's like, yo, I have a pair. I'll send them to you. Never did. Jimmy's still bitter that you bought all the Blitz 03s. Doesn't he have some? Yeah, but you have the ball. You have, you have more than me. Trade you a set for a set of LM GT twos. I actually need 18s. Everyone needs 18s, TJ. But I need them for the FD. Talk to me nice. You hey, listen, bud. You're asking me for LM GTs. I have a set. I don't, I don't need them though. You need 18s. Wow. Needs a strong word. We can make a deal. All right. I enjoyed it, TJ. Thank you for letting me drive this thing. Yo. Yo. We got a little debate we need Look to settle. Look at him squint. Like, he's like, who is that? Who's that guy? <laughs> TJ, <laughs> we're in his okay. FD. All right, what's up? We need to settle something, all right? Okay. We're talking about shifters, okay? Okay. Now, <laughs> this this is TJ's shifter. Make sure you can see Tommy's face. This is This is the throw. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said that that's better than a stock shifter. That thing looks goofy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we knew you were going to say that, but do you agree that the stock throw on the shifter on an FD is trash? I think it felt, mine felt good, but mine wasn't like all worn out and old. I told him. I told him. No, no, no. I, I like the, the bushings. Of, of growing through it's the gears. It's gross. It's too long. It's like it's like a That's foot. Crazy. <laughs> what you have is crazy. Yeah. Shut your mouth, dude. You. It's. Me. I figured. That's why he keeps breaking all these transmissions. You gotta push so hard to get it in the gear. I've never broken it on this. It was on the stock shifter, and even I did like the RE short throw. It fixed it when you got that shifter, dude. This yeah. Because you can't shift. You can't shift. <laughs> Y'all. The car, the car honestly has me really excited for my FD because this thing like, I'm pumped gas with a 4088 is so spooly. Like it's got a ton of mid range. It feels really good. That's sick. We'll have fun in warm California. I'll see you guys in two days. See you guys soon. Bye. Drive safe. Okay, here. <laughs> He's going, look at all my authentic pieces. No, no, fake no rep shit here. here dude. It's a great car. I love it. Thank you for letting me drive it. I appreciate it. As I told you guys, we weren't really planning on doing much filming, but we just wanted to go take this thing for a quick rep. So, hope you enjoyed our, our little, uh, little FD series. Adam was drooling, so I gave him the opportunity to drive this. We have to do a roll reversal. When you come to Florida, you need to make one of these about one of my cars. I want to do it about the 34. About the 34? Yeah, because Tommy said that, that Adam's turbos don't spool till 6,800 RPM, <laughs> and that, so I need to see what this is all you, Tommy. A, we My turbos don't long. spool till 6,800 RPM. He was very confident that like the turbo setup that he has isn't the right size and blah, blah, blah. You have SR20 turbos on RB26, what he said. My, my exhaust housings are big, but that's why it keeps making power up top. Listen, Tommy loves to talk a lot about things that he doesn't know sometimes. He knows a lot. He knows a lot. I'll give him that. But he's never driven my R34. Ooh, I love to hear it. And your I love man's, to hear it. he's looking at a dynograph and he's telling me my turbos don't spool to 6,800 RPM. Mr. Tuner Tommy. I pulled up Tommy's dynograph from his R30, or from his R32. His turbos spooled like 
Peak torque was like, yeah, 600, 800 RPM sooner, but it made 200 horsepower less. Okay, that's notable. Big shit talker. Fuck you, Tommy. Tommy, come drive my R34 when you come down and say the same shit. Fuck you, Tommy. All right, that's the end of the video. I'm done here. Thank you, TJ. <laughs>